Hey, what's going on guys? It's me here, Breathing Jet, back with the video. And in this video, I wanna show you guys how you guys are going to be able to implement song requests and playing audio on your streams without the use of stream elements. So let's dive right on into it. All right, guys, once you guys are here, you opened up your web browser and you went to whatever search engine of your choice, whether it's Google, Bing, whatever, uh, you're just gonna wanna type in the search bar, go and type in Songify. This number one result right here, Songify, call it home, you're gonna wanna go here. Once you are here, you're gonna wanna hit this little button called download now for free. It's gonna drop you down to this download from GitHub link. Alrighty, once you guys are here, uh, this is what the GitHub form should look like. You guys are gonna wanna scroll down from this page right under the full change logs, you will see the assets. Don't worry about source code zip, it says court, uh, source code tar.gz, not important. You're gonna wanna click on songify.zip. All right guys, once you guys have downloaded the zip file and you open it all up, it should look like this. Uh, you can extract the file to whatever folder you would like. I personally have it in a streaming file, but for this situation, I downloaded a fresh copy for you guys just to show you. If you double click on it, uh, if you're on Windows, you might get this Windows protected your PC uh, pop up. Just hit more info and run anyways. Once this comes up, you should have this box that says, please link your Spotify account. It should be a little pop up. This is all it's gonna look like. All you're gonna wanna do is go to file and then you wanna go to, get, go to settings. You're gonna wanna come on down, go to Spotify, link it. It should automatically sign you in if you have Spotify on your computer. And now my account is suddenly linked. And then what else you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to Twitch. Not necessarily the Twitch bot log with Twitch, just Twitch account login with Twitch. Alrighty guys, once you have both your Spotify and your Twitch accounts linked, the next spot you wanna to go to is song requests. What you wanna do on this screen is you wanna make sure you have enable SR. What that does, is making sure that you do have song requests enabled and channel rewards go along with it as well. You also have some other settings on here, like I have clear queue on startup. What this basically does is any songs that were in queue from last stream or anything like that, they automatically get cleared as soon as you start up uh, Songify. Other things that I have on here is allowed user levels for the song request command. I just have that set to have viewer for everyone. Same with the reward, that doesn't really matter to me as much as I am a small, uh, small streamer. All right guys, another setting I wanna discuss is max SR slash user. Basically what this is, is the maximum amount of song requests per user. I just have the set to viewer slash non VIP slash sub. And then I bumped this up from the original, the default is one, I bumped it up to three, just because I am a small streamer, I don't have a lot of viewers at one time. I do mainly have friends that are in the chats and they do like to request songs. But if you have it says the default is one, if they request a song, they cannot request any more until their one song that they have playing has uh, finished. So I just bumped it up so they can request a couple more at the same time. And then these other things like command cooldown, I just have that as the default and max song length 10 minutes, nothing longer. I don't need a 10 hour, anything like that. The other spot you want to go to is commands. All right, once you're in the command spot, this is what it looks like. Uh, you have some descriptions and you have some toggle on and off. I'm going to go through each of them. You do see my personal preferences of what I have and what I have them set at, but I will go over each individually. First and foremost, we have enable SR command. This is a big boy. Along with the channel command over in song request, this is a big one. You have to have this enabled. If you do not, it will not function on your channel while you're streaming. The trigger for that, that people will have to put in the chat is exclamation point SSR. This is changeable along with these other triggers. You could change it to whatever you want it to be. So if you like just SR or song rec, whatever you want it to be, you can change it. Another one I have on is exclamation point song. This just displays the current song in the chat whenever somebody puts it in. 
when I do have off, which is the next one, it displays the queue position of the user song request. So if you do have a lot of viewers and people requesting songs and one of the viewers is like, man, I feel like I requested my song like five minutes ago. Where is it? They can throw in this exclamation point POS in the chat and they can see the position of which they are for when their song is going to come up. The next two, which I do have on is the next feature, which just shows what song is next in the queue, pops up in the chat. Hey, this is playing up next. And then skip, which is only for broadcaster mods or requester. So the original person that requested the audio. I do have this on mainly, like I said before, I am a small streamer. So my friends will put some funny songs in there or some long songs that I just don't want to listen to all the way through. So I'm like, all right, that's enough. Skip. And it just skips to the next song. With being a small streamer, I don't have a lot of people that I really have this feature turned on. Vote skip. If you do have more concurrent viewers at one time, this can be a very usable feature if people are not vibing with the song that is currently playing. And then you have these last three that I all have off. It removes the latest song request of the user. Um, it adds the current song to the playlist specified in the Spotify configuration, which you can have a specific playlist that's selected and it could add songs, remove songs, stuff like that. And then you have a play and pause, which just pauses the, uh, the music or resumes it. I have that off as well, just because I usually have Spotify. I'll have it uh, connected to my phone or something like that, that I can stop it or move it on to the other monitor. And I stop it or move along with that way. Alrighty, guys, that is about it for today's video. As long as you have your Spotify and you have your Twitch both linked properly to Songify, and you make sure that you go in and you enable song requests along with the commands and other settings that you prefer, you're ready to rock and roll. And again, this is a way to be able to stream music from Spotify onto your Twitch streams without use of platforms like Stream Elements or Streamlabs. I hope this video was helpful and it was informative. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.